Six a drug problem we've been following for the last year is becoming more visible in an area heavily traveled by college students. We noticed a spike in arrests for synthetic marijuana, also known as K2, on the UT drag. Campus police report 10 K2 related arrests in just the last month on these four blocks of Guadalupe. KXA and Sophia Beausoleil spent the day on the drag getting an earful about suspicious activity. During the week, Jessica Adams cool. puts together her food stand and sells lunch to UT students on the drag. I've been sitting out here like every day and I just sit here like the cops are over here, over there, and there was an arrest a couple days ago. Her stand is near Renaissance Market on 23rd in Guadalupe. Crazy, there's like not many people set up here anymore. It's an area known for having merchants, but also has become a camping ground for people in the homeless community. This year, we've actually seen a, a larger number of, of folks that are, that are coming in uh, to that West Campus area. Last year, University of Texas police told us about the increase of crime and added more patrols to the drag. Patrols, officers on the ground, say happen daily, especially for an area becoming known for synthetic marijuana use and other crimes even Jessica has witnessed. A guy pulled a knife out on someone. It was a little nerve wracking. It was right in the heat, like arrested him like right in front of where I was working. For the most part, Jessica says she feels safe, but keeps an eye out just in case. Reporting from the UT campus, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. We reached out to UTPD to learn more about their current operations on the drag, but they were not available for comment. K2 has also been a big drain on city resources because of the high number of emergency related calls. Last year, Austin Travis County EMS responded to more than 1,100 cases of K2 overdoses, many of them around homeless shelters downtown. The drug is extremely dangerous because there's no way to know what chemicals are inside. But there is some good news. K2 calls across the city are on the decline. In fact, EMS is no longer actively tracking the cases. Instead, they are just looking out for any disturbing new trends.